Hello there, YouTube. I'm Lutar21, and on today's rolling review, we'll be looking at the deluxe icon set for Grimm, Sanzo, and Himiko. These were the last three icons that people technically needed released for the core 15 of the great heroes, and it's honestly a good set due to the fact that, one, it's mostly towards Necrom, because in the show, he uses Grimm and Sanzo effectively and efficiently and, well, consecutively. One, because he tried to possess those actual heroes and overpower them, and two, they eventually then allowed him to use use them when he became good. And Himiko, well, I really have not much to say about Himiko because there's not much really to say about it in general, in my personal opinion. It's just a cool pink form. It's fabulous. And that's really... All I gotta say. So, let's look at our actual icon. So, we'll go in order of, you know, numeric value, which is Himiko. Nice pink. Really, really girly pink. Nice, though. Still, can't really hate it. Pink's a nice color. You got number 10. You got the face sticker, which is actually pretty cool. And then you got the whole kind of, like, peace prayer for its Omega Drive. You got Dead Eye. You got 10 again. And you got your face sticker. Pretty nice. You got freaking 14. Grim. Grim's Fairy Tales. Now, I don't see how effectively it's a hero outside of the actual Grimm's F Brothers movie with, I think, Matt Damon and Jude Law, I believe. And that's as far as I could go with that. Number 14. The face mask. Pretty demonic, kind of weird. Kind of has like a bird-esque face to it, if you ask me how the actual side plates look. Pretty cool. But I honestly understand it's supposed to be like a pen because of its Omega Drive. One can see a pen scribbling. And the sticker is really nice. I honestly do love this very translucent, uh, sparkly green plastic. It's just nice. It's cool. I enjoy it a lot. This is honestly probably one of my other favorite icons just by its overall design. And then there is Sansa, which is another one that I like actually by its design of the hoodie, not necessarily the design of the overall icon, except for maybe, I think, one of its stickers, which is its Omega Drive, I believe. So we got 15. You have its face, kind of similar to Grimm, ironically enough, but it's the whole, whole idea of it fitting in with Necrom's suit. There, it's like weird, cool, badass, like sun. I like this sun. It's really awesome. Honestly, if I was to make my own custom, like, icon, I would probably repurpose this as my own Omega Drive kind of logo because it just looks badass. Pretty awesome. And the dead eye is nice and actually a metallic green. I forgot that this and this have a metallic one, not like a weird dark blackish blue. It's actually green if you see reflecting off the light. And the sticker, pretty freaking nice. And the white clear glitter is pretty cool, honestly. Really nice design. Now, their sounds, one cool thing is that no matter what, Ghost Driver can make sounds for them. Uh, however, these ones particularly have special pegs in the bottom of their icons right here and here to help effectively work with the Mega Loader. So let's go and demo these. Oh! 
Now it's evaluation time. And for the first thing I'm going to talk about is if anyone's going to complain about it's not centered or it's a little lopsided or it's not so freaking equal, you can kiss my scoliosis. One, because honestly, it's hard to make an equilateral triangle off the backs of the goddamn icons. Two, it's a goddamn pain in the ass in general. And three, like I said, you can kiss my scoliosis because with the curvature in my spine, technically, I don't think I know what the freak even leveled means just because I'm off to a curve. That is one thing I can admit right now. Now, for the actual toys at hand, the Sanzo and Grimm are probably the most wonderful icons in this set due to the fact that the sounds they make with the Mega Loader are freaking fantastic. Himiko still is just Himiko and not extraordinary whatso freaking ever. And it actually makes it worth having the Mega Loader just for those two extra icons. Even though if you lo load in Himiko or any other lo icon, I shit you not, it will just make the same ghost sounds off the loader. Now, in the actual ghost driver, they're pretty decent, pretty nice. But like I said, just throw them in your Mega Loader if you got them and abuse the hell out of these freaking wonderful sounds. And honestly, Sanzo is probably the better of the two between it and Grim when in conjunction with that engine device. But nevertheless, you can actually still get these freaking icons still at most stores, I think. They're only selling for about 1,600 to 2,000 yen, which is about 16 to 20 bucks. I've seen quite a few still in stock at some places. Other people are telling me it's kind of hard to get them right now, but honestly, it's a give and take, I think, depending on the day and depending on what store you're shopping at. So nevertheless, I am Wheelchair21, and if you like these icons, I insist you like my channel and subscribe to it, as well as check me out over at HeroClub.com, HeroTaku.com, Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I'll see you all next time.